Hello and welcome everyone. Today's video features the brand new Tier 9 Premium Greek or Hellenic Navy Destroyer Velos. Velos is the renamed USS Charette, which was a Fletcher class destroyer of the United States Navy that entered service during World War II, which spent much of her career in the Pacific Theater of Operations was placed in reserve following the war and Charette was transferred to the Kingdom of Greece in 1959 and renamed Velos and remained in service until 1991 before being preserved as a museum ship that still is there to this day in Athens in Greece. So let's take a closer look at the Velos starting with the full build on which all of these numbers in this preview video are based. So starting with the upgrades, this is what I'm using on the Velos. Main armaments, engine room protection, aiming systems mod 1, propulsion mod, concealment system, and main battery mod 3 for extra reload. And the captain skills I'm using Preventive Maintenance, Last Stand, Survivability Expert, Concealment Expert, Radio Location, Adrenaline Rush, Demolition Expert, and Priority Target. So all the numbers you'll see in this video are based on this exact build. And let's start with the armor. Armor layout, four end plating, upper and lower 19 millimeters side plating and the main deck aft end all 19 millimeters frontal plate 20 millimeter 20 20 and the rear plating also 20 millimeters and the superstructure gets 13 millimeter so your standard lecture class armor or tier 9 destroyer armor layout ties in to the survivability. Velos gets 20,250 hit points, which is identical to the USS Fletcher. So the exact same number of hit points as the Fletcher. Moving to the main artillery. Velos gets four single mounted 127 millimeter guns. Now these do have a very fast reload speed of 1.9 seconds very fast firing guns they have a turret rotation time of 180 degrees in 6.1 seconds they have a max dispersion of 99 meters and a max firing range of 12.1 kilometers and the gun sigma value on these turrets is 2.0 so the Fletcher can fire both high explosive and armor piercing rounds. Max alpha damage of the high explosive is 1800. With this build, the fire chance is 7%. These high explosive shells can penetrate 21 millimeters of armor and have a shell speed of 792 meters per second. When it comes to the armor piercing, the max alpha damage is 2100 and they have the exact same shell speed of 792 meters per second. Moving to the torpedo armament. Velos gets one torpedo launcher. Unlike the Fletcher that gets two X5, the Velos only gets one X5. Now it does have a very good reload speed of only 60 seconds. The same torpedo values, 10.5 kilometers in range, 19,033 damage, 66 knots of speed, and a detectability range of 1.4 kilometers. And these torpedoes are identical to the Fletcher, both in terms of range, damage, torpedo speed, and detectability. Moving to the depth charges. 
Max damage of 5100, quite impressive. Two charges with 12 bombs per charge. So a lot of damage potential. A reload time of 40 seconds. Capable of dropping 12 depth charges with a max damage of 5100 per charge. When it comes to AA defense, Bellows gets 6 76.2 millimeter dual mounted turrets. See them here. Two centrally mounted and one mounted at the stern. The four main battery gun turrets also serve as AA mounts. Four single mounted 127 millimeter all combined they pump at a continuous average damage of 147 bellows can fire three shell explosions per flak salvo with a max damage of 1540 and these have a max firing range of 5.8 kilometers the anti-aircraft defense on the Velos is further reinforced by having access to the defensive fire consumable. Boost damage by 50%, 300% bonus to shell explosions and a 40 second action time. Moving to the Velos's maneuverability, 39.9 knots. This is with the Sierra Mike signal flag. 38 knots base speed, 39.9 knots with the Sierra Mike. Turning circle radius of 620 meters and a rudder shift time of 3.9 seconds. Now you do also have access to the engine boost consumable, which provides an extra 8% in straight line speed. as an action time of 120 seconds two minutes and a reload time of 114 seconds. So finally, stats wise, we come to the Velos's concealment rating of 97. This is with a full stealth build, including both captain skill and upgrades. 5.6 kilometers by enemy ships. And you will be detected by enemy aircraft and submarines both at 2.6 kilometers. This, is, this concealment is further reinforced by having access to the smoke generator, long lasting American smoke screens, an action time of 34 and a half seconds, and a dispersion time of well over two minutes of 127 seconds. So very strong American smoke screens combined with very, very competitive concealment. So this is a very quick look review guide of the Hellenic Navy Velos renamed USS Charette, originally from the US American Navy. I hope you enjoyed this quick little preview. If you'd like to see some live gameplay, feel free to come over and visit me on Twitch. You can see the link here on screen. I look forward to seeing you all. I'd like to thank you once again all for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more. Take a moment to check out some of my most recent videos and leave a comment below and until the next time keep sailing it like you stole it